So I'll take a break and uh, come back and do some more songs. This is a song for you called Wait Maybe Love. It features Jealousy. She's a roommate of Steele's. You stuff. Where's your clothes without asking? And Sadness, who is a go-to. And Love is featured in all his and her splendor and flightiness. And uh, it also features a train and a doctor. But that uh, is the cast of characters uh, in this song for you called Wait Maybe Love. Here's to the year where we learn the fear And all rents the cheapest room in the house, dear And love called and said she found a better room To the year where we stayed awake Oh, and we talked about the earthquake And now surely this must be a sign the sky will fall Wait, maybe love Maybe love in Mr. Train Wrong ticket, wrong platform Out in the rain Shall be home Sit in the place where love used to sit And where love fill your eyes But sadness just pulls you down Sadness smiled, said I know I'm not her, I'm not love But I'll stay and give you comfort tell you How right you are, how right you are Maybe love to kill And fever racked, coughing and bedridden pills It shall be home when the doctor says You know how love gets well, you know how Oh, how would love lived here? 
how she'll come back Back again um, The new album that I put out is called Love is Louder Than All This Noise and I didn't realize that at the time but there's an organization called Love is Louder, and you find out about these things when you're buying domain names, um, and that you start getting letters from people. Um, anyways, they're an anti-bullying organization out of New York City. I believe that Justin Timberlake is like a spokesperson, Britney Spears, and uh, so I was hoping I'd get sued. <laughs> but um, it'd be quite the thing to have an anti-bullying organization sue uh, folk singer, <laughs> but uh, no dice on that. Anyway, so this is Love is Louder Than All This Noise, tm.ca. <laughs> and uh, it's called The idea for it, part of it came from reading notes in the book that are getting passed around. One show, somebody wrote a really hard note, where they're just like, they deserve the worst year uh, award. They just had a really shit year. and. Uh, because it's anonymous, you don't know. And uh, anyways, part of the song is just, you know, kind of a letter back to them saying, don't, like, don't give up, just make it to tomorrow and just ignore the, the, the crap and the shit. Which can be hard sometimes. So your part is this.